Going, everyone. Sorry, it's been a bit quiet. So I won't go into too many details because you'll get bored. But basically, the residency thing. Um, yeah, we're just sort of balancing on a knife edge at the minute. Well, I am. Obviously, Marie's already got hers. So, yeah, just waiting. I mean, I've done what I can do now. Sent them what I need to send. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So, unfortunately, life is on pause currently until I know what's going on. I mean, there's two outcomes at the minute. You know, I either get it and everything's great, or they say no, which I'll appeal anyway, because it's ridiculous if they say no. But, you know, if it all goes to shit, then I'll be ejected from Sweden. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so as you can probably imagine, it's playing on my mind a little bit. Insulated workshop with walls. Uh, a lot of this is going to go on the floor. So, this is the first side. So, this is going to be panelled off, and then I've got to create a door. I've dug down a little bit. the holiday chalet. So, caravan tour. He doesn't like it. <laughs> a bit slippy for you, mate. You have to get you a carpet.
My life is now complete. We own a tractor. <laughs> She's an old girl. 1950s. If anyone who knows about tractors, you'll know what you're looking at. I really don't. But made in England. Absolutely love it. What a beast. <laughs> Five gears. Speed demon. Yeah. There we go, that's some more, or the rest of the windows that we need for upstairs. I do love upcycling, you've probably noticed that by now. Good morning by the way. <laughs> right, on to the next job, which is more upcycling. Go and uh, uncover our hopefully new trailer. Yeah, this should be interesting. <laughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, Sonny. It scared of me and the camera. Here the birds. Can you see him? There he is. No, wait, is that her? Yeah, yeah, that's him. The small black and white one. That's her. Bolsky. Her. Her. She's Bolsky. <laughs> so. Yeah, in that barn. Is a trailer. <laughs> My God. Okay, let it go into there. No way am I getting that out of there. Everything around it's free though, so it should just... Yeah. Good little trailer. Needs a bit of work. Got to put a new bottom on it. And remove the poo spreading element. But yeah, ideal. friends welcome back things are going good I've actually been working on the farm this last week so yeah it's been pretty uh, been pretty hard hard going but enjoying it you know bit of exercise ain't it but the nights are starting to not be night anymore it's still bloody light at 11 o'clock which is 
strange. And also, I got a letter this morning and I've been granted my Swedish residency. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, what a time, eh? So that is it. We're now here. This is now home. Morning everyone. The beauty of not owning the field around you is uh, work gets done for you. <laughs> Although the downside is yesterday we were living in a cloud of cow shit because we did the muck spreading but swings and roundabouts eh? It's not that bad. It's only for one evening. It smells like death. <laughs> right. Should we go see your mum? <laughs> you go see your mum? Yeah, we're going to nip up to the school. So I need to do some squeezing. I'll show you what that is. <laughs> and uh, then we've got a few jobs to do today. So I shall bring you along. So this is what I do. This is literally my job every now and again. One of the, just one particular piece of the jewellery, which are these ones, they have a clip that goes in, obviously for the chain to go on. That one's damaged, we don't use that. <laughs> and uh, you have to squeeze it with your fingers and line it up. And for whatever reason, no one else can or likes doing it, so by default it kind of became my job. So yeah, apparently as well as a farmer, I am now a professional squeezer. So, there you go. Just been oiling all the worktops in here. And my new floor that I decided to put in. It is looking very cool in here now. Bloody love this room. Right, that is hopefully getting fixed today. Because we got the parts in the post. So we've got a load of various size ball bearings. So hopefully I can find one of them that's going to fit. And this is the gauze 
to go over my filter that I made which is this guy right here so that gauze will sit over that and then that goes into there like that before I start putting it back together even though I really want to do that now bought this yesterday now plumbing is definitely not my strong point because uh, I've never really done it so I was stood in the plumbing aisle for ages trying to figure out what to buy but got these three bits they all fit together and then this end goes onto a pipe that is going to mean that we get running water on the plot because we have got it working but it was pissing out everywhere so I'm thinking just to lop it off in here and shove this tap on so this is what we've got that's the pipe from downstairs which is the well feed and I've just done this bit here and there's our tap with a ball valve so host part's going to go on there haven't tried it yet because I remember when we first came here and I said about the basement how I didn't want to go down there um, and I was accused of being a pussy well I'm going to show you right now I'm going to take you down there and you'll see why I don't want to bloody go down there so going to need some serious ISO boosting <laughs> it might be a bit grainy but yeah. Okay, so <laughs> right off the bat, I don't know if you can see, but the foundations aren't really connected to anything anymore, and the ceilings fell down. So it makes me a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so not a pussy, just a bit cautious. Oh god. Right, oh you can't see anything, sorry. There's a tap just down here. Three, two, one. I don't know if we're going to get much clearer than that. Shall I taste it? Probably not yet. Probably really? give it a few minutes. How many minutes? That is... That's crystal. That is clean, actually. Delivery. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Alright. Look at that absolute peach. So yeah, next project is already here before I finish that one. <laughs> Honey, yeah? just to let you know, what about the house? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Quick top tip for anyone, not necessarily tractors, but anything, any kind of mechanics, be it vans, machinery, whatever, if you have to take it apart, for the love of God, don't plaster the thing in easy gasket bullshit when you're putting it back together. Because it's just wrong, <laughs> okay? It is just wrong on so many levels. It ju I mean, I didn't take any photos before, but all of this, this was everywhere, on all of the, around the top, everywhere. But what happens is, if you just coat it in that stuff, you see it squirt out the outside, but what do you think's happening inside? The same. It all pisses out, and this stuff was in everywhere. 
Every little gallery and valve and everything in here was full of this crap. Right, just don't be lazy, you know, either order a proper gasket or if you can't, like in my case, at least try and make one proper out of card or something. I mean, you can still use the gasket stuff, but you use it sparingly as like an extra seal on a gasket, not just coat the whole thing in it. Because when you have to take it off, which you will, because it will leak, you've then got to piss around doing all this. <laughs> and it's a pain in the arse. To get some wood from the farm. Look how good this looks. <laughs> Love it. Matching bloody trailer. I'm gonna end this video here because I imagine it's been extremely long. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me pissing around with tractors and whatever else. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Catch you in a bit everyone.